if you could uh, subscribe or uh, like this video or uh, leave a comment i'd appreciate it very much uh, thank you very much so last video i uh, showed how to make that so since then i've made one and uh, before welding that i tried on the tractor those two holes they line up fine so i welded this on and i'm going to crack on with one so i can cut both of them together so this now i laid it on and i marked the steel and i cut it but before doing that i actually ground both sides of that so it's like a v and i'll leave a little gap so when i weld that the welding will go right to the middle each side so when i grind it off it'll have uh, welding all the way through holding it so it'll be plenty strong and um what you know now is uh, line that up and uh, weld it then grind it down like that and uh, then plasma cut plasma cut those bits out the last video i showed how to make this uh, i won't go through that but i'll leave a link to, in the description for the website i got for cad drawing okay so i'll uh, crack on with that now uh, and i'll uh, film later on okay okay so i used the rest of the steel i was using for the lego bracket to make a bracket for the seat uh, two inch i'm gonna put um inch and a half box on it so nice bit of space to weld on it so nice bit there uh, these are actually 7 16 i think so i've gone up to 12 mil so we have a bit of given them so we've split down nice uh okay. okay so i plasma cut these what i did was i uh, used template and i draw around it with a sharpened uh, chainsaw file as a scribe but it's a job to see so i used a permanent marker and just uh, colored the inside the lines and so i could see it to cut around so uh, because people would just go on fire um there's an odd nick you know odd, odd uh, low spot but uh it's right i um, use a pin to line it up and i lined up a second hole and clamp it together just to grind it so it was uh, both of them was exactly the same so nice and smooth now um next thing now is to try to join up uh, I'll put a picture of uh, the marked up before plasma cutting here then. Okay. Okay, uh, so I cut this now. This is a uh, hundred and fifteen millimeter, so it's uh, an old one, it's uh, four inch and five eighth, I think. But uh, what I've done is I've got a piece of box which is ninety mil and then twenty five mil uh, box aside of it. So that's uh, adds up to hundred and fifteen. So I'll hold it nice and square for me. Got two bolts just sliding through each side easy and i've got uh, the box lined up here and it's all clamped up so i just need to weld around this and then um, need to make the leg for the bracket for the seat so uh, when i show this i think i thought it was quite a neat uh, solution for the job okay so i welded it all up uh, and it's holding in the same place anyway. Um, see, it was a nice slack, so uh, it's uh, holding in the same place there. Um, this now uh, I've just uh, made a box, I measured the uh, 135, and the top link was about 30 inch up. So I just did 30 inch. I can always cut a bit off it if it's a bit too long for when it goes right over. And uh, I also welded box more forward on the well more one side so when you bolt it on this will be uh, more forward then so it should give you a bit more leverage because it's farther away from the pivot so just it might not work but uh, that's my thinking behind it they're usually in the middle so um, i don't know about that easy enough to make another so uh, that's it uh, just give them a coat of paint and um, that's the project done Hopefully, well, uh, we usually do a few of these uh, year masses and the lifts. So, uh, just waiting on the next one now to uh, film it to working then. So, uh, I've left a link below in the des description where I got the card drawing from. It was, I think, it's Vintage Tractor Engineer. So, uh, shout out to him now. And I think one of his um, sort of followers or customers actually made the CAD drawing to put up so uh, thank you very much whoever you are and, and thank you to uh, Vintage uh, Tractor Engineer for um, putting up I, I'm, I'm nothing to do with him he didn't know who I am and, but uh, 
just thank you all the same. Uh, we wanted one of these for years, and and I just seen the other day that uh, it was up. So ideal. Okay. Oh yeah, so they said to make it out of half inch plate, but I made it out of thinner stuff. That's what I had, and I don't think you need it that thick. I might be wrong. I might be making it again out of thicker stuff, but uh, I don't think you need it that thick. Oh yeah, one um, thing I was remembering. Uh, it was actually uh, Ferguson America, uh, the TO thirty five that invented, well made the design back end that the thirty five in England use, uh, later used in. So like the TO-35, the F-40 that's based on the 35, the FE-35 meaning England, the Massey 35 England, etc. 135, all the way up, 65, all that. So that's how these fit so many of the Masseys in, because they're all based on the TO-35, basically, the back end one. So um, just a bit of history for you, that's... Well, the Massey Harris 50, I think, is the same as the F, Ferguson F-40 from America. So it, it's quite a few models then. Okay, goodbye.